Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back into my YouTube channel. The last video that I did about picking up my brand new Ranger boat from Cabela's in Allen, Texas is up. Getting some great feedback. It's always really nice to go and pick up a brand new boat. I've had a lot of boats over the years. I do consider it a blessing to be able to fish out of a top of the line, incredible piece of machinery like the Ranger Z520L. In that last video, I talked about how it didn't have any electronics on it. And these packages are my electronics. So it's proper that I do an unboxing video. So where to begin, where to begin? Let's start from smallest box to the largest box. This one came from Navico, which, are the, which is the owners of Lowrance. And, um, oh, that's right. This year on my 2020, I'm running the Lowrance Live Sight Transducer. That's the forward shooting transducer. I've heard a lot of guys talk about the forward shooting technology, some of the guys on the Lowrance team, and I talked to Matt Reed and Kurt Dove. It's something that I want to get familiar with. One of the things that I've recognized over all the years of fishing uh, both the Bass Elite Series and now the FLW Pro Circuit is you can't let the technology curve leave you behind. And so I'm going to stay right along with it. I'm going to try the Lowrance Live Sight uh, Transducer. Pretty excited to see what that's like. Forward shooting technology, so you'll be able to scan around and see what's out in front of the boat. Uh, fish suspended, fish coming for butt for baits. I've heard some great things. Brandon Card, Bassmaster Elite Series angler, he told me some pretty neat stuff about that as well. Okay, so the second box. We've got a couple of Lowrance boxes here. Let's see what we got in here. Oh yes, we got a 12-inch uh, Lowrance HDS Live, and I'm going to put this on the bow of my Ranger. I know a lot of there's been a big trend of going towards two units on, at the bow and two units at the console. And if you if you've been on my YouTube channel for very long, you know that one of my big things is keeping things simple. Keeping things simple is really important to me. I feel like it helps everyone. Put the first things first. I had a friend one time say that to me. Keep your first, th keep your first things first, and I like that. And when you can keep your first things first, life gets simpler. When you keep things simple, instead of being like a flashlight, you draw it in, and you're like a laser beam, and a laser beam cuts through hard stuff. So I just use one unit for the for the bow and one for the console on my 2020 boat. It'll have a 16 inch at the console and a 12 inch at the bow. I just like the simplicity of it, and it, it works for me. You get 10 Bass Pros together, and there's probably seven different opinions out of the 10 that uh, guys will say, yeah, it's got to be like this, and oh no, this is the best way to do it. One of the things that I've also learned over the years is there's a good way to do lots of different things, and if something's working for you, stick with it. You got to be willing to be teachable, and you got to be willing to be willing to change, but if something's really working for you and you really can't see things improving by a tremendous or measurable difference, I say stick to what you're doing if it's working for you. So anyways, 12 inch unit for the bow of my boat. And that's an HDS, a Lowrance HDS Live. That'll go right on the bow of the boat. Let's get this big guy out of the way. Okay, so on to the big box. As you can see, my uh, my Ranger RT-188 is the workbench today. That's how we open stuff up here in the in the garage. It works, at least for now. I'm trying to I'm trying to get things decluttered in here. This time of year, it's really hard because a lot of the tackle that was in my 2019 Ranger is sitting behind you there on the floor. You've got rods in places. You've got just just a lot of disorganized stuff and I'm, I love organization so it makes me a little uneasy but working towards buttoning things up and getting ready for 2020. At any rate my aluminum ranger is the uh, is the workbench for now. So man this box is literally full 
hope you guys can see that, of Lowrance cables and point one technology. And we'll just go through it real quick. This here is trolling motor transducer for my bow unit. This is a PDRT WBL transducer. And then for the HDI trolling motor adapter, I got this for my aluminum boat actually. I'm gonna be running some down scan on my aluminum boat. Didn't have that. So I got this. It's a HDI trolling motor adapter. It's got a clay and a hose clamp on there to, to have everything in there. That way I can have down scan technology on my trolling motor. Didn't have that for my aluminum boat, so that's why I ordered that. And I believe that's what this is for. Maybe not. I've got to figure out how all this stuff goes together. Okay, HDI trolling motor adapter. Okay, this one goes for my 2020 Ranger. This is a NEMA network starter kit. Just a bunch of wires, some connectors for different wires, junction wires and different things like that. A B&G. This is an Exonic connector transducer adapter cable. Yeah. And then a Lowrance, a Lowrance HDI skimmer. Okay, this partners up with this. So this is kind of like the housing to keep it from if you run it aground or run it into a stump, you don't tear off your, it's kind of a protector, keeps everything in place, keeps it. So this is actually the transducer for my HDI, which is my down scan for the bow on the trolling motor. That works. Black HDI skim six footer, some sort of extension cable. I think this is, I ordered this for my aluminum boat. Okay. Skimmer flush mount, that's for my side scan for the back of my Ranger. And point one technology. This is so we know exactly that where X marks the spot on the mapping and it gets, it gets me the exact lineup with my heading sensor. Point one, te point one technology is critical. Active imaging three and one, that's the side scan. Transducer, gotta have that. Can't not have that anymore. And then the mothership, the Lowrance HDS 16. Look at this guy. Ay, ay, ay. I haven't used a unit this big ever before on tour, but last year I went ahead and got this and I absolutely love it. Instead of two units on the console, a big 16 incher is just. It's just a way for me to, it just works for me. I like that. I like everything, the simplicity of it. One unit, mapping, everything, ready to go. I just feel like it's the command center. The HDS Live 16 inch. We'll see if we can get, get in there and let you guys have a look at it. Okay, here it is. There's the uh, front of it. Of course, it's got the, uh, the screen protector. There's the back of it. I'll put it back in there before I drop it. Anyways, that's what I got from Lowrance. It's gonna go on my 2020 Ranger. Try to pack it all back up. State of the art equipment. You gotta have the technology at your back when you're on tour. You gotta be familiar with how to use it. And there's things that I'm still learning about it. And I think we're all learning about it. It's like phones. There's always updates and upgrades and different things like that. But something that you really have to have to be um, good at. You really have to uh, be familiar with that type of this all this technology. You've got to be familiar with it. You've got to learn how to work with it and you have to be proficient at it. It's uh, an integral part of, of finding and locating fish particularly in deeper water but works extremely well in shallow water as well. Not, it's not necessarily finding the exact mark on the bottom, but sometimes it's bait or habitat, grass, rock, wood, different things like that. It's just important. Electronics, it's a major benefit to locating and catching fish in a timely manner. Gonna go ahead and try to get this all mounted to my Ranger Z520L here and then take it to the lake. I gotta drop my Cabela's X900 batteries in there as well I've got four of those bad boys man if you're looking for the a bulletproof battery one that is an incredible of a dependable batteries you'll ever see it's got all virgin lead four-year warranty 
It's actually that virgin lead that really maintains and holds power. The construction on these things are incredible. I'll do a video on that, or I'll show you guys something like that on social media. Hey, if you guys aren't familiar with my social media channels, go over to Instagram, and, and I'm also on, also on Facebook and Twitter. I will go ahead and link all my channels to all my social media platforms in the description below. Hope you guys are doing well. Again, thanks for tuning in my, into my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Until next time, good fishing.